Tell us exactly what's on the table right, right now. So in Washington for the past couple of months, there's been this big debate. There are a number of Democrats, uh, the Obama administration included in this, who want to see Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac bite the bullet and write down uh, loans for borrowers who are underwater, who owe more than their homes are worth when they modify those loans. So far, Fannie and Freddie have not forgiven principal. They haven't cut those loan balances when they modify loans. What they'll do sometimes is they'll forbear. They'll take a piece of the loan. They'll say, you don't have to make any payments on that, but it's not going away. You know, Someday you may have to pay that back. Uh, the regulator for Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac has not been interested in debt forgiveness. And so in January, the Treasury Department said, look, we'll pay you. We'll put some of these uh, TARP subsidies uh, out there. And if you now write down loans, you can, we'll, we'll pick up part of the bill. And so it's forced him to reconsider his position. And yesterday he said it actually would make, it would make more money for Fannie and Freddie to take that taxpayer money. It doesn't save taxpayers because it's just we, it's, we own Fannie it's, from and one, it's just moving money from one pocket <laughs> to the other. But So now it looks like Fannie and Freddie are at least considering something that they've long resisted, which is to uh, forgive debt for troubled homeowners. But in your piece, you have a great sort of uh, point about the fact of this, what we you know, sometimes call moral hazard, in the sense right. that if they start doing this for some people who are underwater and aren't paying, then those people who are paying their mortgages, even though their homes are underwater, right. may say, well, why am I doing that and stop stop paying. Is and, that right? and for this regulator, Ed DeMarco, that's one of his top concerns yet now. All along he said, well, it's, it's more expensive, but the Treasury took that argument away. So now he's saying, well, look, if we encourage people who, uh, you know, these people, three quarters of the underwater borrowers have been making their mortgage payments. If we give debt forgiveness to people who are not making their mortgage payments, do we change the behavior of those underwater borrowers who have been making their payments? Now the other side is, and, and that would create a negative feedback of course, the positive feedback which proponents of, of debt forgiveness say is, look, you may actually stabilize these housing markets faster if you cut debts and, and so that creates positive feedback because the housing market does better, you make you, you give up more money in the short term to make more money in the long Nick, run. Nick, is there any evidence that any of these government programs, of which there have been several since yeah. uh, the housing crisis got underway in 2008, is there any evidence that any of these programs, quote unquote, in a large scale way, have worked other than well, I don't the mean Fed be, just cutting rates? I, I don't mean to be uh, you know, clever about this, but it depends how you define worked, right? If you measure it against the expectations they set, which was that the initial a modification program would help five million borrowers. It hasn't. It, it modified a million. A million people have had mortgage modifications, and I, I don't think that's an insignificant number, right? That's a million potential fewer foreclosures on the market. So, uh, y you know, it, it has. In fact, one of the criticisms is that these programs haven't done enough. They got $50 billion in 2009 to spend on housing aid. And folks have said, well, the programs have failed uh, because they haven't worked. Well, they haven't worked because they haven't spent most of that $50 billion. The CBO estimates that when all is said and done, they'll have only spent $16 billion. So the Obama administration, they may actually come back and say, well, it hasn't worked because we didn't get enough of the money out the door. And right. if, you'd actually, if we'd actually been able to spend this money, maybe it would have done But the something. reality is there are hundreds of thousands, if not uh, more than a million homeowners there who basically not been paying anything really on their on and have not been foreclosed on either by the banks or by Fannie and Freddie in the past few years. Right. I mean, there but have been I lots of people living rent-free for a few years here. Right, but that, that gets into a separate yeah. issue, which is that the banks basically weren't following the law when they were foreclosing on people. So the banks have actually tied their own shoelaces and tripped over them. That's a little bit of a separate issue. The modifications certainly slowed things down. 